So you've called on spur insulators and you've got a concern about your attic insulation. I just want to take a few minutes to go over some of the things that I'm going to look at when I get to your home. One of the most important things I want to talk to the homeowner about is the importance of attic insulation. We want to create a barrier between your living space and your attic. Most of the time your attic is close to the ambient temperature outside. So we need a barrier between those two to keep your warm air in in the wintertime and your cool air in in the summertime. When I go in the attic, one of the things I'm looking for is the amount of insulation that you have. So how much is already there? The other thing that I want to look at is what condition is the insulation in? Is it contaminated? Have you had a rodent problem in the attic? Have you had a roof leak? Are we going to be able to build on what you have already? Or is it going to be important for us to remove that and then start from scratch? If we can build on what you have, typically what you're going to see in your attic is going to be bad insulation like what we have here. This typically would have your ceiling joist on each side and this is what is laid in between. This is an R13 bat. What you need in your attic, what we recommend is an R40. At least, that's the minimum. Wood only has about R1 per inch. When this is laying between wood, yes, the spot between the wood you have an R13, but where the wood is, you only have an R4. So we want to create a blanket on top of all of your ceiling joists so that when you go up, you see nothing but insulation. At that point, we want to talk about what products we can add to that in order to be able to get you to that R40 that we need. We have two different products here. One is a cellulose product. You need about 10 inches of this uh, cellulose product to add up to your R40. The other product that we have is a fiberglass product. You probably recognize the Pink Panther. Fiberglass has been used for years uh, in insulation. With the blown-in fiberglass, you need about 13 to 14 inches of blown-in fiberglass to equal up to that R40 that we were talking about. So should we find when we go into your attic that your insulation is contaminated and we have to remove all that insulation, that does open up your options on things that we can do. After we remove all of the insulation, you're going to have ceiling joist and drywall is what we're going to be looking at, your ceiling. So from that point, we can go through and we can perform a process called air seal, which is where we go through with spray foam and we spray foam any penetrations that you have between your living space and your attic. After we get that all sealed up, we're going to go back with a, one of our blown in products that we spoke about before and we're going to bring you up to that R40 level that you need. The other option that you have after we remove all the uh, contaminated insulation is we can go in and we can spray foam your roof line. We're actually going to spray foam the entire pitch of your roof, so your entire roof line. At that point, your attic becomes a part of your living space. Another thing I'm going to look at while I'm in your attic is your ventilation. Ventilation plays a vital role in how your insulation performs and how your home performs. We want air to come in from your soffit or your overhang of your roof and we want it to travel up that roof line and then escape through some manner whether it be mechanical or whether it be a convection type. This is a baffle. This would go down in the corner. This would be your ceiling. This is your baffle. We do that because we're going to be adding that 10 inches of insulation, at least 10 inches that we talked about with the cellulose product or 13 to 14 with the fiberglass. So that's going to build up. What we don't want to do is stop off that air coming up your, your roof line. So we install these, they've got two channels. So it still allows air to come in from your soffit, up your roof line, and then out through some type of ventilation. I'm Brent with Owensboro Insulators. I look forward to coming to your home and speaking to you soon about everything that I've spoke about today and hopefully we can make you more comfortable and more energy efficient. I'm Brent with Owensboro Insulators.